I'm Craig Sigal, the mental toughness trainer for youth athletes and creator of six mental toughness programs sold worldwide. And I'm here to make your life easier. I'm excited to introduce you to a new training that will boost your athletes' performances, skyrocket their confidence, get rid of their fears and frustrations, and give them powerful life skills. Now, we know that most kids these days are not going to read a book on mental toughness. The Mental Toughness Training Academy is offering an eight-module program that your athletes can follow online or simply download to their smartphone or MP3 player or their iPod. And this makes it easy for them to listen and learn at any time and any place. The Mental Toughness Training is designed specifically for kids, even as young as 10 or 11, and all the way up through their teens. It's visually stimulating, it's interactive, and it's fun. And it's perfect for the way kids like to learn these days. Each week is in bite-sized sessions and includes a guided visualization to help them mentally rehearse daily for that big game or event. Now my goal is to keep them entertained enough so that they easily take in the information and really get it into their brains, but also into their bodies. And these concepts, they're easy it's for kids as young as 10 to understand because I know how to speak in a way that gets their attention so that they get it. And to keep their interest, we use lots of visual aids and, and sometimes I'm even kind of entertaining and act silly. Now, I know that everyone learns differently, so I give them an experience using multimedia that includes captivating pictures like you're seeing here, amazing text, great music, and weekly assignments. And at the end of each week's training, I give them an MP3 guided visualization that powers what they learn right into their body. Each of the eight-week trainings has a different theme and builds on the prior week's theme. Now for a quick overview, they're going to learn how to eliminate performance anxiety, lack of aggressiveness, perfectionism, folding under pressure, falling apart after a mistake. They'll learn how to believe in their ability to control and create their own destiny. They'll learn how to create unlimited potential. They'll, they'll understand about their own thoughts and their beliefs. They'll, make a commitment to themselves and learn the value of words and intentions. They'll also learn how to create motivation. They'll discover sacrifice and delayed gratification and the power that comes from that. They'll learn how to play in the moment. They'll learn how to create a resourceful state, fire themselves up and calm themselves down when it's appropriate. They'll learn how to get the most out of practice and training, leadership, and also being part of a team. Yes, we include goal setting and so much more. Now you might be thinking, why should I listen to this guy? Well, I'm gonna tell you briefly about my background. In other words, why you should send your kids, your athletes to learn from me. And then we'll jump into more detail of what this training's all about. See, I've been coaching and training for over 30 years, working with amateur and professional athletes of all ages. I have six mental toughness programs sold worldwide. I'm also the author of the golf book, Break 80, 52 Ways to Lower Your Score Without Practice. Now, if you're a golfer, how does that sound? Anyway, I've been written up in major newspapers, been on many radio shows. I was recently featured on NBC TV's Evening Magazine show for my work with young athletes. And I love working with kids. Like you, I have a passion to see them live and play at their highest potential. Now I get it though, let's face it, you as a coach, you've got a tough job. You got a lot of pressure on you from both the parents and the kids. Everyone wants to be on the starter, get all the playing time, get on the first team, everyone wants to play. And I know plenty of, plenty of coaches that they don't even talk to parents anymore, they're so tired of it. They have an assistant do it. It can be very frustrating and at times, thankless being a coach. And I also know that you as a coach, you do it because you love the kids, you love the challenge, and you love winning. Like me, it probably breaks your heart to see a kid with a lot of talent not perform to his or her full potential. Here's where I come in to support you. I know you see it every season. Kids that can't bring their practice game to the real event. They're filled with performance anxiety. They've got tentativeness. They choke under pressure. 
Maybe you know a lot about mental toughness already, but frankly, you just don't have that time to spend with every one of your kids who needs that help. I'm sure you could recommend a great book or two on mental toughness, but kids just aren't reading books these days now, are they? You've got enough to read as it is with school assignments, juggling, uh, family obligations, their sport, and it leaves so little free time for them. Now, I've solved these problems with my Mental Toughness Academy online. Now, in case you yourself don't have time to dig into these trainings, I wanted to give you some more detail on what your athletes are going to learn in the Mental Toughness Academy training. You see, after years of working with these young athletes and learning what makes the biggest impact on their minds and their sports performance, I purposely designed the training so it gets from head knowledge and into the body. This is huge. I purposely stress that the athlete does not have to memorize anything. All they have to do is show up and do the program. And I've proven this with hundreds of clients to date. So we start off with week one, teaching them the tools to make sure the training sticks. We go right into believing in yourself and how to be in control of your own destiny. I use stories like the one about Roger Bannister, the first person who broke the four minute mile back at a time when doctors thought the human body was incapable of doing it. Now that leads us into learning about potential and I show lots of examples of teens and young people doing amazing things like the 13 year old who climbed Mount Everest or the 11 year old who swam the English Channel. I help the kids understand how they operate with regards to their emotions and feelings, where they come from, and how to deal with them. Week two gets into commitment and decision using declarations and a motivation to learn that follow through and the value of your work. Now, motivation really is something that can be created and enhanced. And I give the kids these tools and stories to help them do that. We also get really big into sacrifice and delayed gratification. Very helpful for athletes. This radically shifts their game and, and uh, ultimately eases their stress levels. You see, I believe they need to learn to play their sport for the love of it and the desire to master it. That's when they play their best. Winning becomes a byproduct, and this is huge. And I've had tremendous results teaching just this one concept alone in my office and with folks I work in person. Week three is all about creating resourceful and powerful states and developing the ability to fire up when needed and to calm down when necessary. We do some actual physical work so the athlete feels the difference when they direct their body to think it. It's a powerful process to teach them how to center themselves and focus on the task at hand and to understand that there is no fear in the present moment. It's only in the past or the future. We also get into how to become aggressive and also how to manage it when they get too aggressive. Week four, we focus on practice, training, and preparing to compete. And this gets the athlete totally ready for what develops into mental toughness. And it comes from repeated exposure to stress and recovering from it and becoming more mentally tough or stronger. They learn how not to overtrain and cause themselves burnout, but how to use practice as a confidence building opportunity. We get into goal setting and incremental improvement, and we finish off with leadership and teamwork. In week five, they learn thought conditioning, how to be aware of their own negative thoughts, how to question them and then get rid of them. Kids are always surprised at how quick and effective this module really is, and I give them a pattern interrupt to do it with. It demonstrates the power of self-talk, and the most important lesson this week, how to clear out the past mistakes and errors and get rid of them to keep their minds clear. Week six goes into focusing on mental practice and visualization techniques. We build on the previous week to start thinking and visualizing like a winner. I've worked years on refining this process and I know it's extremely effective with kids and they seem to find this one technique to be one of the most powerful tools I teach them. 
In week seven, I give the athlete a seven step process for how to deal with difficult emotions like frustration and sadness and anger and fear. Now, this is what I am most proud of in my work because knowing this process is really what gives kids and athletes huge confidence. Kids learn to stop fearing their emotions. And this totally empowers them to put aside their fear of choking and making mistakes. When they get this into their body, they'll have cleared so much interference to playing up to their highest potential. Finally, week eight, we get them thinking bigger and putting their sport into a perspective that works for them and their entire family values. They learn to tie all the lessons about excelling in their sport to other areas of their life. This is, of course, why most parents want their kids to play sports, and we're going to get that for them. I teach them how to deal with difficult parents as well. They learn how to deal with you, the coach. They learn how to see things from your eyes. I think you're really going to love this section for them. Well, as you can see, this is about much more than just becoming a better athlete for these kids in my training. Mental toughness applies to everything in life. Join with me in teaching 1 million young athletes mental toughness by the year 2020. That's my mission. I've got an affiliate program where you can earn money and help your kids at the same time. Check it out at mentaltoughnesstrainer.com slash affiliates. We give you all the tools and resources you need to properly recommend this program. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me toll free at 85 Life Skill or email me at craig at mentaltoughnesstrainer.com. Join me in the winner's circle. I'm Craig Sigmund.